Hey, welcome to the new tutorial. This is Visual Studio 2013, uh, C Sharp ASP.NET. Basically, entering into SQL Server from three text boxes with a button. Um, it's a beginner video, but it's brought to you in an intermediate fashion. Basically, what that means is, I know how. I assume you know how to get around Visual Studio. You know how to create a page. Uh, you know how to throw the um, text boxes in. You know how to connect and create your SQL Server instance. Okay, so I've done all that. First thing I think I need to show you is my SQL Server running on this computer. Uh, it is called Schwedco. I have a table in there called Customers. And in Customers, I have three columns, Name, State, and Gender. And that's going to be important when we write our C Sharp code. So as you can see, I've created a page with three text boxes, a button, and a label. Uh, in the label, I hadn't finished this. Let's go ahead and remove the text in the label and make the font some nice little color that will stand out. What that will do will display a message when it posts back to the end user that data has been written. And we'll do that in our C Sharp code. So the first thing we want to do is double click our insert button and let's go ahead and give ourselves a new namespace using using system.data dot SQL client. Okay. That allows us to go ahead and set up our connection string first thing. Um, yeah. SQL connection I call mine vid equals new SQL connection. Now this is where the tutorial is going to get strange. My uh, connection string is unique to me. Whether you're using Access, MySQL, it's going to change. If you're interested in finding out connection strings, I recommend connectionstrings.com. But I've got mine, so I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. And go ahead and put ourselves in a couple more brackets. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, write our code. So I'm going to say uh, SQL command. SQL command, I call mine XP. You can call it whatever you want. Equals new. Uh, this is where we're going to write our insert statement, our SQL query, basically, insert statement. So we're going to say insert into the table was called customers uh, we're going to go ahead and put in our parentheses and we're going to say the column names were uh, name comma space state comma space gender go outside the parentheses we'll say values in small parentheses. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to use what are called um, variables. Variables is the best practice because it's going to prevent from a SQL injection attack uh, hackers overtaking your database. So we're going to say at symbol name comma space at symbol state comma space at symbol gender. We'll go out here outside the quotation marks say comma vid which is our connection string right? So it knows to use vid. Alright so now we're going to say we, we need to define those variables. So we're going to say xp dot parameters dot add with value give ourselves some quotation marks in our uh, parentheses rather quotation marks within
and inside the quotation mark let's put an at symbol go outside the quotation marks put a comma space say text text box one dot text that's correct and then let's close that Ooh. close that now let's, comp let's uh, copy it control C hit return do it twice now that's just a shortcut so the first one variable was called name and that's textbox1.txt the second variable was called state and that is textbox2 so all you gotta do is configure these correctly third one was gender and that text box was three All right. That looks pretty good. Oh, we need to go down here. We need to open our connection, vid, our connection string, vid.open. Then we want to say XP, our SQL command, execute, execute non. I don't know why my IntelliSense is not working. Um, XP dot execute non query close that and then we want to close vid oh. vid dot close right that looks pretty good now we want to uh, put in our label message so let's go up under the page load event and we're going to say uh, if page page dot is post back equals true right uh, no that needs to be a double equals if page dot post back equals true put in some brackets we're gonna say label one dot text uh, equals quote, um, parentheses quotation mark double quotes your data has been entered in SQL right close that off looks pretty good oh another thing I'd like to do down here under the button click event is clear out the uh, text box values so if you say uh, if is post if is post back um, God, how did I do this before if oh yeah we need to enclose this in parentheses if is post back and then we would say um, oh we need brackets always need brackets if is post back text box one dot text and you want to do this under the click event if you do it up in the page load it's it won't uh, load any values into your SQL. Dot text equals and then close it, right? So let's copy that. And then just change these for each text box. There's two and there's three right we're going to save it we're going to try it out we're going to say the woman's name is uh, 
Valerie. Valerie lives in the state of Georgia and she's female. Oops. Right? Insert. Clears out the text boxes, says your data has been uh, entered into SQL. And let's go ahead and confirm that. There's Jenny and there's Valerie. Okay? Enjoy.